Okay, so I'm Erin and I'm here today and um, I have some questions for you. So, first of all, um, I saw that your name meant Adventurous Traveler. Yes. Now, how does that apply to you? Um, wow, that applied to me, I think, in it really applies to me because my journey, I feel as though, has been very adventurous from um, from birth, from, from facing some of the things I faced as a child growing up. And also since I've become, since I became a man, my, my, my travel is where the music takes me. Um, so I would say that, yes, in every bit of the word, I am an adventurous traveler. Okay, so also, um, what was your reasoning for writing the book? My reason for writing the book was so that my fans, uh, my friends, the people who didn't know me could get a chance to know Kimani for the individual and not just take note of me for my last name, but to know who this individual is and to know some of the trials and tribulations he faced and to know that he's a grounded person because of those trials and tribulations. Okay, so um, also, what made you start singing in the first place? What made me start singing? You know, I, I think that was my destiny because growing up as a child, I, I didn't want to sing. Like, singing wasn't something that I didn't want to be a musician. And I, my mom used to send me to piano lessons and I hated it, guitar lessons and I hated it. And for me, my, my career started, I always say, sort of like a flute. It was like being in the right place at the right time almost. Um, so it started by me playing around on the French sound system and having an ex-producer of my father come in the day to hear me playing around and say to me, you have a nice tone, um, that I should come to the studio every Saturday and, and, you know, play around a little bit and see what comes out of it. Well, one thing led to another, and I wrote a song called Dear Dad, um, which is the title of the book. And a producer at that time, Clifton Dillon, heard the song and offered me a contract. I took the contract, still not thinking that music is something that I'm going to end up doing, but I was basically taking a contract, like jumping on the bus, seeing where the ride was going to take me. And, um, I think it became serious for me when someone told me that a song of mine saved their life, which was the same their dad. Um, and that's when I realized that this is my destiny and this is my calling. Okay. So, um, you were nominated for a Grammy and you happened to lose it to your brother. So what was that like? <laughs> Um, I, I didn't lose it to my brother, I wouldn't say that. Um, for me, it, it, it came back to the same home, you know, and I'm really a man of the mission. Um, the accolades, whether I get them or not, it doesn't change my character in any way. Um, but for me, it's, it's, it's my brother is a part of this legacy. And, and, and we're a team and carrying on this legacy. So for him to win it, it's just as well as me winning it. You know what I mean? So there was no, no feeling there. Yeah. Okay, and lastly, um, are you working on an album at the moment? I'm working on an album at the moment titled Evolution of a Revolution, which will be a double disc. Um, for those of you who know radio, my last album, Revolution Disc, will be the follow-up to radio. For me, I would like to consider the evolution part of the album um, music for the soul, you know, hopefully music that will inspire. Okay. And so what social networks can people find you on? All of them. <laughs> uh, Facebook, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on MySpace. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Maestro Marley, M-A-E-S-T-R-O-M-A-R-L-E-Y at Twitter. Um, and you can also find me on my website, kimanimarley.com, kimani-marley.com. Yeah. Okay.